So this laptop, 1.1 kilograms, making it the lightest 4K 16 inch laptop, period. Hello everyone, I'm Sikatek and in front of me I got the Acer Switch Edge 60, a laptop built for traveling. With the super performance for any type of work, being your 9 to 5 work time or editing long 4Ks video podcasts, this is fully built for productivity. Let's try out the box, it comes with the AMD Ryzen 68000U with radio and graphics. 16 gigabyte of SDDR5 running at 6400 megahertz, at least in my review units, but you will be able to get this in the stores with 32 gigabyte, one terabyte NVMe SSD, um, with the centerpiece being this 16 by 10 4K 16 inch OLED display with a million to one contract ratio. But probably the most impressive thing is how they managed to fit all that power and I will get to the numbers in just a second, all that power into a 1.17 kilograms, that's 2.5 pounds, and is barely the thickness of a USB Type A, being at only 12 millimeters. Between the ports, on the left hand side of the device, we got two USB-C with power delivery, charging capability, and display port capabilities as well over USB-C, a USB-A 3.2, and a full HDMI 2.1 capable of transferring up to 10K devices. Right, it's a headphone microphone combo, another USB-A 3.2, some LEDs, and a Kensington lock. And okay, a couple of thoughts on this port selection, because you may have realized there's no SD card. Um, honestly, they have the space internally, uh, they can easily put a daughter board or something, and this is built for productivity, built for creators, so SD card will be brilliant. Um, the USB-C, they only got it on one side, so that means that you need to route all the cables to that side of the device, and would be nice if they got USB in, in both sides, so you can have the 65 watt power brick that come with it um, dangling on one side and not just the cable all over the table. But another thing I will kind of like to see will be an ethernet port. I know they will definitely make the laptop a bit thicker, but that will give you a super high network speed. Like, yes, you've got Wi-Fi 6E, so you may don't need it, but if you, if you kind of care about transfer, you need to transfer files to a home server or just a server in your work, maybe a hardwire connection will be the way to go. Now, that's the outside. Now, speaking on that inside. So, A, it doesn't tilt all the way back, so this is the maximum that it goes. Touchpad. Touchpad is mahusive over here. Um, it got some great responsive and got some beautiful gestures like three fingers to swipe and check all your open apps, three fingers app to add new desktop as well, and four fingers swipe to navigate across all the desktops, or the virtual desktops that you can build in Windows 11. But above that is the keyboard. And yes, this is a low trouble keyboard, no number pad, fully backlit, um, a very responsive fingerprint reader in here, but the flex. This thing flex like crazy. I know that the way is all the outside is plastic, so it, they needed to compromise in places, but the keyboard, no matter if you're pressing on the middle of the keyboard or on the far corners of the keyboard, like you can feel the flex. And if you type in for long hours, if you can't be annoying, just a, a tiny bit, you kind of get used to it, but it still becomes quite frustrating. You can you can feel the, the flex in your fingers. Okay, the keyboard may pass. I mean, you can get an external keyboard or whatever, but the keyboard may pass. Something that cannot really pass is the speaker. So it's downfire speakers and at 30%, 40%, they sound okay. Now you're putting up to 50% or higher, and they start, they start crackling, I mean, they are, they are okay for YouTube. They're okay for some video content every now and then, or to have something in the background. But if you really care about music, sound quality, or you're editing a video or editing a podcast, I would really recommend use headphones. Headphones all the way. But yeah, use, use big headsets. That's, that's my recommendation. Speakers are not that great. I mean, this laptop is, with the weight, 
and the power that I have managed to put inside this, this is aimed for traveling. Towards the people that like to work in on the go, like I have managed to squeeze seven hours of battery in one single charge into a die. So if you're traveling a lot, this is perfect for a couple movies, movie, two movies, probably even three movies in a plane, depending on where you're going. A whole Netflix being watched. You can also do video editing on this. Uh, I've been doing some video editing on this. On battery, you can do it that while you're waiting a flight or in a train or in the bus. And keep in mind that it's not power limited. Some laptops are power limited if you go into battery. This one is not. So if you're in battery, you're still pulling the whole 3.9 gigahertz wire turbo in. With no thermal throttle, staying around a comfortable 60C while playing a full 4K 60 frames from this Sony camera in DaVinci Resolve. But yeah, this is not aimed for gamers. I mean, it got a beautiful 16 by 10 aspect ratio, screen, uh, OLED, 4K, 1 million to 1 contrast ratio, Vesa True Black 535, but it's only 60 hertz. And it crashed it on me opening a Spider-Man, Rocket League was not even playable, was very laggy. And for those asking, no, it doesn't run Crisis. But it killed it in very much. In very much, we got a 760 on single core, um, 5087 on multi core. But that's the screen. The screen is, I think, it's the centerpiece of this, this machine. But above the screen, we got a 1080 full HD webcam with no bezels, no notch, um, for Zoom videos and um, other type of video calls is brilliant. Even if you want to do a video podcast, it's, it's a very great camera. But the overall design, yeah, it's no bezels, it's, it's minimum bezels. And this is a great design. The main chassis is magnesium with alloy. It's a combination of magnesium and alloy making it 20% lighter, but two times stronger than if it was just a aluminum chassis. But all the parts that show in the laptop, front, back, and all the inside, all the keyboard deck, and all the vessels, they all are made out of plastic, and they are huge. They are huge fingerprint and skin oils magnet. And for this video, I have found myself like wiping it in every single shot and if you really care about how your laptop look like you're going to be wiping this thing down probably every day to take their marks off because it's marks everywhere but you know what here's my full recommendations so if you're looking for a all-day battery super lightweight 16 inch laptop with a great screen resolution and able to do video editing or other creative tag like Photoshop or Illustrator or whatever, then yes, this is the one for you. Now, if you are looking for all that plus gaming, uh, unfortunately, you will need a GPU, you will need some more GPU because unfortunately, this is not for you because this is a tool. It's, it's not a laptop for entertainment, it's a tool. It's a very, very lightweight tool with a great performance for creators and professionals. So if you're looking for a review of a gaming laptop, I will leave one up here, uh, also by Acer. And if you're looking for what's in my bag for this 2023, I will be the video down here. But either way, this has been my full review in the Acer Switch Edge, the 2022 version. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm Tech. See you in the next one. Adios.